Hey, good looking. I'm Vixen, and welcome back, or welcome for the first time. In the last episode, this happened. Why does everyone resort to bloody violence in this place? Let the epic story continue. Finally, had the shard. The oh my God! One yelling match to another. It means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, are Sheriff you... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished Doing my here, job. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Oh, shut up. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? They're gonna start calling me Mutt next. In the mirror right away. Why can't we do it? It's right there. Maybe only he can fix it. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Is it gonna explode? Work, Is Bloody Mary gonna you've come through the mirror? What did you uncover? A lot. I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? Everything. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the Lone. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. Well, what are we gonna do Tom when Crane we get to it. him? That's how we're Crane wasn't trying to Excellent. depose him. Really? Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? I think he wants to tell me something. Away from prying eyes. Don't go far, Sheriff. <sighs> I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why'd you put the hurt on Flycatcher? Were you hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? Yeah. He worked for them, didn't he? No. I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved, and I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous for in the For being a bully? I don't yeah. Buy it. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're going to have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I'm not sure how this I is going to end. I so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. Uh, I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Is there a piece missing why? from it? Is the magic changed? Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process uh, can be Mary. a touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person she I has saw mirror powers. Coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had ah, some. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? <laughs> I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're it welcome. Be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Dismissed. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? No. Did you ask about the crooked man? Not yet. Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Everything always is. Ah, oh, so it's many. So Everyone's simple. always what arguing. From the business office, how bad? What I want is my business. I uh, can't take those two right now. No. We're Everyone's like that. It's not just them. And they're... They're over there bickering about that bureaucracy. guy is still hanging in the background. We're at war, don't they realize that? Maybe that's why they're desperate to hold on to those yeah, things. Thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Well, I can. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Huh. <sighs> Should I immediately so, get rid of my money, yeah. if that's even an option? I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? 
Well, you did maybe we should give it to Colin. Here, so maybe it's We've already mess. promised him. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure Aren't you've you got a your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Do you know? Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? None no of those other options were... the subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Oh, uh, I'm going to give him the money. Here. I hope Crane I can still keep Colin here. Will that do? But... Crane's money, eh? Wow. I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anything. Exactly. Thank That's why I gave it to him. Use it to get glamour. To if he hadn't been embezzling, money now, so I won't be maybe so he could have had the money. You again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. Well, money in and out. Quick like that. <laughs> maybe not be so obvious. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I hope I that wasn't money I could have given to Colin. This office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Uh. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. Yet. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? Yes. I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did the right thing. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I did the right I thing. I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen Because they knew mom. too much. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't they know. They knew if too the much. The man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. It's not control. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles. Chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Yay, that didn't take long. That guy is I so have creepy. To say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm so welcome. I just I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Is he dead? Don't say anything. He's probably still waking up a little. Just stay out of this one. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, why well, he's still alive? Maybe. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. Why so does please, he have this coat? Please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone. Watching. Oh, she could sense mirrors. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That <laughs> explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Well, we won't do that so, again. Let's not do that again, okay? Yep, agreed. Looks She's like we'll crazy. Have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Mm. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Mirror, mirror. <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does crooked man hang out? Don't we need a name? I don't recognize a really door, obvious door. That's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold on. And he's gone. It's changed. The door. It moves. Oh, I didn't tell yeah. her that. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. What if he tries to kill you me? Can't just dispense street justice. I will defend I myself. Run high, and you have your reasons to handle this. Uh, I'll bring him back alive. And bring him if back possible. Alive. Then we 
can clean them and cook them together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So if he tries to, to kill me, I will kill him. Properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of I'm always I'm ready. ready. I got no other choice. I feel like they're drifting apart. What happened? But soon he mended his evil ways. The Gothic Bridge. Night. Whoa. We in time? Good. Open. Oh god. Was not expecting that. Oh dear. Maybe we should bring stuff with us. Oh, just run at it full pelt. Full pelt. Run! And now we'll never escape. Good. Good. Is that the crooked man? No. Oh, Tim. it's Tiny Tim! What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. You're welcome. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? They know everything. That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way... Don't worry, I won't get you in trouble. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Don't worry. Fine. Lead on. I'll get you killed by the crazy man who has torture devices on his windows. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. I have no qualms with you. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. It's dangerous for you, here. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone uh... like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. He's a I'm crook. Lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. And he's killed people. Just keep that in mind, maybe. Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it's already too it late. Be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. You're not the one who's dead. You're fucking blind, Tim. He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? No, but Crane's not around anymore. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him but too. But he always comes with a price. What we need is a war. Well, it's coming. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Wait for him. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like the penguin. What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh yeah, mate. I ain't scared. He's back there. Tell me who the fuck is back there. I got a problem. I I don't exactly know. I just mind the door. The boss is there. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed. Skinned and made into a rug. For Let's just listen. There's no subtitles. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal There's with. There's quite a few people in there. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. Well, at least he doesn't want to kill me yet. Frightened. Are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we'll of We'll tame the rope. Like Crane, he will eventually be of more use to us alive. Huh. I don't like it. It's not for you to like. Okay. Your Excuse crutch just did something crazy. 
Sheriff Wolf, sir. Jersey Devil, Tweedle. And George Borgi. Vivian. Back there. Thank you. Crooked man. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Whoa, you just phased. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Well, you don't take it, and you don't take stuff from them. You do it because you don't need you have to. A seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Don't think I trust you. All right, let's talk. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. <laughs> so dramatic. And all were happy. Next time. I've the heard final stories episode. About you. And I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> well, big conclusion in the next episode, clearly. Right. Well, majority vote there. We didn't try to remove the ribbon, even though she freaked out, as the majority did. Uh, most people decided to go to the butchers first. I'm really curious about what happens if you go to the other places. We decided he shouldn't go to the farm. Ooh, for once I chose a minority vote. I agreed to talk with him. I was going to talk to him either way. I mean, wow, well, anyway, into the last episode. Not sure how much they're gonna be able to squeeze into it. I think, pretty sure there's a season two coming out soon. So, we're gonna be left on a cliffhanger, aren't we? But let's just get into it and see where it goes. Well, that's all for today, folks, but the story will continue. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you all in the future. TTFN and cheerio!